So this is a rest area that I just made up because I've been to hundreds and hundreds of different types of rest areas. Now, this is your kind of standard one. Uh, now, when you get to this point, I don't know, is it just me or is it other people as well? I'm always scared that I'm going to go the wrong way. Now, now this is a pretty obvious which direction you're going, but sometimes you get like a, a go off to the left is for trailers and go off to the right is for uh, autos. For some reason, I'm always paranoid I'm going to go the wrong way and uh, I'm going to get stuck. Again, it happened once <laughs> a long time, long, long time ago, but we're going to make sure we're paying attention. All right. So this is a pretty, again, pretty standard. Now, you can't always see the space is or what, what what are the available spaces you have. So a lot of time, just just take the first one, especially if it's at a certain time of the day where a lot where, where the, the the rest area is starting to uh, get a little busier. All right, so just kind of hug everything to the left. All right, now we're not going to be taking too hard of turns, but you know uh, this is a this is a pretty good distance. My trailer's not going to swing any any more par past this point here. All right, so this is pretty safe. Right, always stay as wide as you can. Now let's go to this first space. Now, as you can see, this trailer and this trailer are the ones we need to pay attention to. This guy is, is forward, while this guy is too far back. All right, so remember now our, our, our trailer has to get around this guy. All right, now when to start? Now, I personally like to make sure I, I, I get as close to this guy with my hood as possible. All right, so you can start turning, all right? And then if you find it yourself you, that you're getting a bit too far away from it, then you can kind of turn into it a little bit, kind of like here. And then, you know, you're, you're now you're paying attention to the, everything on the right. Now, if you can see that you're going to miss this guy, that's great. Let's just keep hugging everything on the right. Okay. Everything looks good. Because I want to make sure that my, sw my the swing of my trailer does not hit this guy. Okay. Let me just, I think that's, that's, that's fair enough. That's good right there. Now, once I know that I'm, once I know my, my trailer is not going to hit, now I'm going to go all the way to the left. All right, I want to, I'm going to hug everything to the left because I'm trying to bring my trailer because I can see in my mirror that I'm not center. So I'm going to keep going to the left. Now I'm probably not going to be able to get in one shot, so it's going to keep driving straight. I'm going to keep hugging, I'm, and I'm going to, do, I'm going, I'm going to get wait till my trailer gets center in the space. Well, nearly center in the space, and then I'm going to straighten up. So not yet. Not yet. Okay, roughly around here. I'm going to hard right. And then hard left. And that'll straighten me up in the shortest distance. And then I'll do a straight back. Okay, get my steers straight. And just start back, backing up. Now, at what point do I stop here? Is it Do I stop when, the, when my hood gets to the, to the front of this line or to, to this line? I like to kind of go halfway. All right. I like to stop roughly around here. Like if there was like a bit of a stagger going on, you know? Um, that's just because that's the, that's the halfway point. Some people stop here, but then you now you're making it hard for this guy to get around you, and he could take your hood off. All right, and then some people uh, go all the way back here and stop, but that makes that means it's going to be harder for, to get around you for the for this guy here. So this is kind of like a right here. All right, is where I like to go. So that was a, that was not that wasn't too bad of too bad of one. Uh, let's go into a different space now. All right, so this time we uh, again we're gonna keep hugging everything to the left because you never know what you're gonna get. Now my goal, my goal, is to get as, get my hood. Hold on, let's slow down a second. We don't need to be going that fast. Again, to get as close as possible. But sometimes you may end up uh, turning a bit too late. All right, let's say I'm turning to I'm turning here, and I go off to the right. All right, and I'm gonna hit. All right. Now again, every time that you miss something and you have to reverse. Always make sure, always make, realize exactly how, how much is, of the swing is going to hit or is going to swing out, all right? Because we're going to have to, let's go all the way to the left. Okay, and now we can uh, now we can drive in again. All right, let's go nice and slow. All right, we're going to hug everything to the left now, right? Because I'm not 100% confident that my trailer is going to get past the uh, trailer on the right. So we're going to... Again, watch out for my. Uh, again, I'm looking in my mirror right now because I'm watching over this point right here, making sure it's not going to hit. All right, let's keep going. Now, once it's missing, definitely go off to the left, hug everything on the left, hug everything. And if you get it wrong, oh, you're just going to have to back out and get out and look a hundred million times. Uh, you really are, and just try, kind of try follow the path that you were in, and uh, maybe grab somebody for, as a spotter. Now, we're definitely not going to get centered in this space. 
All right, so again, we're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to hug everything to the left, keep going to the left. And once the trailer is nearly center, we're going to go off to the right and then back to the left. Okay, now we can uh, now we can get center ourselves a lot better. Um, now pulling out of a space. Now sometimes you're going to uh, you're going to be parking next to a guy where he's kind of too far forward. All right, now this guy on on our left, he's fine. He's that's not actually that's not that bad at all. So let's go ahead and move him up just a little bit, just so we can uh, make it life a little bit more difficult on us. Now, when I'm Trying to figure out how to get out. We don't have a lot of room because there'd be cars parked over here. I like to ask myself, how much room is over here on the right? Now, before I go off to the left, because I know that I'm not going to be turning very hard. It's going to become, it's going to be a long turn. So that means my, that means the swing isn't going to be that bad. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn to the right, and I'm not going to go a lot slower. There we go. So I'm going to turn to the right. All right. And the last thing I do before I lose this side is just to make sure that the, the how much distance is there. And it, there's a pretty good distance. So now I'm going to hug everything over here. I'm going to hug these cars. All right, we're just going to hug them. All right, we're going to miss them. Get nice and close. But it's just that it, it is a scary. As you can see, no, I, I'm not going to make that. So now I'm going to knock on this guy's door. And I'm going to tell him, as like, dude, seriously, you got to back up. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, so then you ask him, then he backs up. And now we can carry on with our uh, with the rest of our day. And it's like that's your fault, dude. I'm sorry. I didn't need to, didn't mean to wake you up, but you know I had to get out. Anywho, let's try another space. All right. So now we're we're looking for the space. Uh, there's one on our left. That's great. We could go into that one. Looks like that's the only option that we have. So we're going to go ahead and set ourselves up for a lovely parallel park. All right. Now you got to the thing is with a rest area is that there could be people coming behind you so you know make it make it known all right so sometimes t by just going over here and setting yourself up isn't quite ideal because somebody could easily just go back up and now you're screwed now you got to leave all right so if you are if you are um and you, you know you are doing a parallel park again get your hazards on um uh, it's not an ideal but there's definitely a lot of rest areas where basically where you have to parallel park Sometimes, sometimes I find myself in, in, in for months at a time, the only parallel parking I'm doing is at, is at a rest area. All right. Now, I've, so what we're doing here, I'm just going to just kind of show you this. Kind of, this kind of shows you what I'm going to be. Uh, I, I, I want to let people know this is this is the space I'm going into. All right. I mean, sorry. Let me just back up for a second a little bit more. There we go. Now, I like to kind of approach it from a wider point than this. All right, and this way I can enter the space in a lot earlier. All right, because my and then this would definitely tell people that I am backing up into the space. So don't, you know, don't, don't, don't get up behind me. All right, hazards are on. Uh, blow your horn if you want to. Whatever you you, you need to do. Um, all right, I think roughly around here. Okay, and that should do me. I'm going to go ahead and get my steers straight. And it's going to start jackknifing at a slow rate. Now, once my trailer, once my trailer, now I can't see this, but once my trailer gets pointing towards the left of his hood, that's kind of like when I like to get myself straight. All right. That way I'll just do a straight back. There we go. And uh, now I'm going to wait for my axles to get pretty much um, beyond this line. Because if I start turning in now, I'll still my trailer will by the time I actually am parallel, my axles will still be past the line. So they're getting pretty close now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn my steering wheel to the left, which is going to bring the front of the trailer to the left and the, the, the front of my truck to the right. Okay, so just uh, I didn't want to over explain, but anyway, and roughly right before it's parallel, we're going to start chasing it, which is pretty much now. So we're going to go hard right. You know, paying attention to the back of your truck that we're not going to hit the curb. Again, if we hit the curb, at least it's just a curb. All right. And then when you get to this point, now we can go ahead and do our pull forward just to get ourselves more straight. And then we can carry it on again. And we are in. I think we can do. I think that'll be fine. Um, 
so my main rule when it comes to uh, angle back and angle parking, well, angle just going into a going into a space is taking it wide, cutting back in, and then just straighten yourself if you need to. So now when you are driving into a space, most of the time they will give you a lot more room to where you don't actually have to drive through and then straighten up and then back up. All right, it's just that a lot of truck drivers they'll just park wherever they can and get and get away with it. All right, now we can start turning here. You know, maybe then you go a little wider. You kind of like kind of adjust it. All right, and we as you can see that it made a huge difference having um. Oh, I still didn't do it right. <laughs> I was too cocky. All right, hold on. Let's just okay. Let's just straighten up. There we go. All right, we're good. Um, now you again, you, people do have a tendency of overshooting it as well. All right, here's an example of overshooting it. You know, you take everything to the left. You basically, uh, you know, you see your space. You go past it. You cut in. You know, well, actually, it was perfect. <laughs> uh but in some in some places that would be um if you had more room people have a tendency of going a little bit more and then you end up messing with this guy and you're just gonna have to do the same thing again go through your space straighten up and uh life is great take your rest and we're done all right that's it with this video thanks bye bye